much energy with the smaller ERA as you would with the, the larger one. So it doesn't mean you can't use the device. It just means you have to treat the area, a smaller area, if you want to get good outcomes. The reality is you're not always going to know this. When you have your equipment inspected, they should be checking this, and they'll be saying it's still within acceptable limits of what the label says, or they have to let you know that it has some discrepancy uh, in the frequency, the intensity, and the ERA. You're required to have a label. It, it will be on your device. So if you look at this sound head, it has your um, ERA five centimeters square. That means the field that's created is five centimeters square. So I could theoretically treat an area and heat up an area about 15 square centimeters in size. Beyond that, based on current evidence, it's probably not likely within a reasonable period of time that I could heat up an area more than about three times the size of my sound head. So that would be my expectation. Uh, does that make sense on the ERA perspective? A lot of times I'll say it's like ironing. I like to use a, an analogy, is if you were ironing and your iron only heated up in the middle, you're not going to be able to iron this way you would if the whole head of iron heated up. It's a similar idea in the fact that you could treat a larger area with a larger field, um, a larger head, a larger crystal, and a larger ERA. Okay. Intensity. So this is a picture of intensity at the side. So if I was to hold my head up and the ultrasound energy was coming out of it, the near field, those first centimeter or two centimeters is going to be relatively colony. Now this isn't going through water. Now if you add a medium that is not as uniform, you're going to become non-uniform very quickly. Uh, so what happens is that energy is, as it's penetrating, as it reflects, refracts, and absorbs, that's going to happen non-uniformly. And what's going to happen is the field of energy is going to become quickly non-uniform. So if I was to take a cross section and I look at the energy that's being distributed in your tissue, for example, it's going to be it's going to be non-uniform. You're going to have developed uneven amounts of kinetic energy.